it's hard to use Blender at a professional level without add-ons. So in today's video, we're going to look at some add-ons that have been around for some time and see if they are still as powerful and useful as everyone expected. Starting with Flip Fluids, an alternative to Blender's MantaFlow for fluid simulations. When put side by side, Flip Fluid simulations always look more detailed, with foam, bubbles, like, and splashes compared to Blender's built-in simulations. They also simulate faster, and the Flip Fluids add-on comes with custom forces that are not possible with Blender's built-in simulator. If you want to scatter objects in Blender, you have to either use geometry nodes or the particle system. While geometry nodes are great for scattering, you have to know what you're doing and it takes a lot of time to set up. The particle system, on the other hand, is easy to set up but has a lot of limitations. The GeoScatter add-on was an upgrade to the scatter system in Blender, introducing standards like biomes, which can be implemented by other add-ons. It has now become the most popular scattering add-on, and with its vast library of vegetation and plants, it's no wonder it's one of the best-selling add-ons on the Blender market. Scattering objects is a big part of what we do in Blender. This is why there is more than one way to scatter objects inside Blender. If you are scattering objects in tens of thousands, GeoScatter and the Particle System are the best way to do it. But if you are scattering fewer objects, especially large objects appearing in close-up shots, the Physics Placer add-on is the way to go. This will use physics to scatter objects without intersecting each other and allowing for collisions when objects lean into each other, making them look more real and balanced, which the particle system or geometry nodes can't do. After learning the basics of Blender, that's when the fun begins. The customization, the character design. Being able to choose between different things, like what clothing your character should have, without being too worried about modeling everything from scratch, because you are relying on a ready-made collection of clothing, like this clothing pack. This is what makes renders stand out when you, as the designer, are not worried about the time and effort it takes to make something, because its parts are already made, and all you have to do is assemble and polish to your art direction. Human Generator. The add-on has created a lot of professional tools that you as an artist can choose where to start from, whether to start from scratch or from a base character where you get to change how the character looks, is shaded, and is dressed. It doesn't stop with characters. Creating shaders and materials can also take time, and you need a dozen unique ones for every scene you create. That's why it's important to take advantage of large libraries of procedural materials and shaders like this, with all types of materials like wood, rock, fabric, tiles, sand, and soil, basically everything you need. Even when you can do something by yourself, saving that time and dedicating it to polishing the final project can pay off. For example, making explosions takes a lot of experimenting and burning computer time that would otherwise be used for rendering. The VDB Lab is a collection of presets and tools for creating explosions, from emitters to domains and shaders. These are not simply VDBs that you are importing into your scene. These are starting points for your simulations. You can add additional elements like collider meshes, which can be included in the simulation as well, to create explosions that fit into your setup. Hard Ops Box Cutter Ultimate Bundle. As one of the first add-ons to feature on the Blender market, Hard Ops has been used in countless Blender projects to create hard surface models in a non-destructive way, uh, giving artists a way to add and remove detail from models without worrying about undo steps or losing the work they've already done. This add-on has brought features from popular software like Maya and 3ds Max into Blender, along with new features that don't exist in other applications. Decal Machine is another add-on that has transformed Blender renders from simple models made by beginners on the internet to high-quality renders that have led many Blender artists into large studios. Decal Machine allows for the plastering of intricate hard surface details like bolts, wires, vents, and more onto the surface of an object. They are done so well that you would think this is geometry detail. The add-on also gives you the ability to change how deep the detail goes into the geometry along with other features like material matching, normal transfer, and more. Just like Decal Machine, Sanctus Library is a large library of procedural materials that artists use to add realistic shaders like stone, fabric, tiles, and more, with a level of customization you won't see anywhere else. The add-on also comes with baking tools that you can use in case you want to use the material in other applications like Unity or Unreal Engine. 
Sanctus Library is not limited to just materials. It also comes with a number of procedural generators like a weld generator, grass, stained glass, dominoes, a neon sign generator, and more. Extreme PBR Nexus. If you prefer PBR textures to procedural textures, Extreme PBR Nexus has done wonders for many artists since its publication on the Blender market. It's a collection of unique PBR texture sets like bricks, rocks, grass, tiles, and more. The add-on also comes with a way to easily blend and mix different PBR materials. You can add dirt, wear and tear, and more effects to make your materials look more alive. The sky or HDRI you choose has a great impact on the beauty of your render, especially for outdoor scenes. The sky will determine the quality of your light, direction, and mood of your scene. You can easily test this out by using different HDRI images and you can see how quickly your scene looks. HDRIs can sometimes provide the necessary light in your scene, but when you want guaranteed quality every time, a sky system like Physical Starlight and Atmosphere will always provide superior results. This add-on also comes with dynamic clouds, the ability to add suns, moons, stars, and atmospheric fog. If you are creating large environments and need them to look detailed, the True Terrain add-on has all the necessary tools for that. You can create large landscapes that are fully textured and covered with vegetation. You also have a river and road tool in case you want to add rivers and roads. We all know how geometry nodes have changed Blender, with the ability to create reusable and customizable assets for different scenarios. Geometry nodes are on par with Cycles and Eevee in terms of features that changed Blender forever. If you want a collection of 50 plus procedural tools, including a grass generator, rock, spaceship, wire, terrain, wind generator, and more, check this add-on out. One of the greatest limitations of Blender's Fluid Simulator is that all your simulations have to be done in a bounding box. This makes the fluids look weird as they collide with an invisible barrier. The alternative is scaling the domain so that the walls are far away, but this increases the simulation time drastically, making it impractical to use. This is where the Fluid Lab add-on comes in. It's a fluid solver that is not limited by the domain. You can create fluids anywhere without first adding a domain box. If you make anime or stylized tune renders, check out Kamikaze. This is a collection of different render styles and materials, including anime, chalk, halftone, spider-verse, and more. The Blender add-on community continues to impress, this time with a new terrain generator add-on that introduces a novel, non-destructive approach to adding procedural features. This add-on includes a variety of brushes, such as 127 peaks, 46 slopes, and 40 valleys, which can be placed and blended into the landscape to create unique features. It also features an erosion system, multiple presets, and a scatter system for adding vegetation and rocks. Rendering pristine cities can be fun, but let's be real. Many stories are set in dystopian or post-apocalyptic worlds, like those seen in Mad Max, The Walking Dead, or The Last of Us. This city builder add-on offers over 100 assets ideal for crafting scenes in a post-civilization setting, making it perfect for these kinds of narratives. If you're making a post-apocalyptic scene, you're going to need this next tool because you will need more debris than you think. This tool lets you scatter debris or rocks close to walls, as that is what is expected when debris or chunks fall off a wall. They fall closer, replicating this behavior using this debris tool. It also lets you add grass in corner areas and other things. If you prefer handcrafted models, the Urbaniac Building Library offers a comprehensive pack featuring buildings, streets, roads, highways, industrial assets, and more. Each asset is meticulously hand-modeled with high-resolution textures, providing exceptional detail for close-up shots. And that's it! A list of amazing add-ons that were released a few years ago but have stood the test of time. If you want any of them, all links are in the description.